All right, Pisces, let's get it going. We're going to jump into your reading. So we're going to see what are people perceiving you as right now. So when they see you, when they think of you, when they talk about you, what comes up? If you guys need anything, check out that description. Do not forget about the second channel. There is all signs on the second channel that is easily linked down below for you. As well as readings, you can get one on Keen for first 10 minutes, only $1.99. And my tarot course is down there if you want to learn tarot with me. All of that's easily linked down below. Cards, everything's down below. Okay, so in your pre-shuffle leadership come out. So there is an energy here of people viewing you as a leader, perceiving you as someone who's very strong. You're not a follower. You do what you want to do. Oh, wow. Manifesting dreams. A sense of curiosity. Power. <gasps> Growth. A lot of people are seeing you as someone who's grown significantly. Focused, you're very focused. Maybe you also have this very protective aspect to you. You know, maybe you're protective over people that you love. You're very focused on what you're manifesting, what you're working on. And people are truly seeing not only how much you've grown, how many tools you've come up with to make yourself a better person, a, a better individual, a better friend, family member, whatever it is, but a sense of power. You know, and I also feel that there is a sense here where People are viewing you as a dragon. So when we think of a dragon, what do we think of? We think of something that's a little scary, intimidating, powerful. It's also a mystical creature. It's something that you don't feel like or we tend to think things like that are not real. So there's also a way that people look at you and go, are you even real? How are you doing the things that you do? How do you seem to glide through life? And when things get thrown at you, you just dodge it. Like you already knew it was coming. So much power. But there's also something here. Yeah, strength, healing, resting. So we have 46, 2, 11, 44, 50, 29. Rising from the ashes like a phoenix. There's also a very playful energy that you have. And maybe you had to go through a season of purifying your soul, purifying the things that you were holding on to and having to let go. You know, I'm seeing a lot of childhood issues being wound, wounds, healed, a lot of childhood wounds being healed. I'm seeing you really getting back into that childlike aspect of you and not apologizing for you laughing too loud in public, for you being goofy for two minutes. You know, you really being yourself again. There's also a season here where you've been letting go, allowing new beginnings. You know, some of you, there's been a sense of sanctuary, whether you've really went into your sanctuary and that's where you've been staying, wanting to get back in like a cocoon, get back within yourself. But people are perceiving you as someone who's very, you're amazing, amazing. Maybe someone who's lucky, someone who's very lucky. That's how people can see you. But here's the thing. And guys, I'm going to be the first one to tell you this. Just because you perceive someone as lucky doesn't mean they're lucky. You don't know how hard they've worked to get there. You don't know the things that they had to go through, the struggles, the times that they've been sitting there crying on their own to get to that blessing. But there are people who feel like you're lucky, who feel like... You have a tendency to carry more than you should. This could have to do with your career. There's also something here where some people could be talking about that you have found some sense of happiness or joy in some sort of career. Some of you could be um, really transforming and getting to a place where you're going to start making a lot of money. You're going to get to a point where you're finding your life purpose if you already haven't. Showing a lot of growth. And what do I mean by that? I don't mean actually having a child. I mean growth of you. You're a completely different individual. You have grown. You got to the the place where you know yourself. You know why maybe you eat junk food at 5 o'clock at night instead of healthy food. You know why you get triggered easily. You're starting to understand yourself. And that has really gave you a sense of power that other people can't seem to wrap their head around. This is the second card of manifestation, having the courage, the willpower, the determination to be who you are. For a lot of you, there's an energy here where it's like you knew you were meant for great things. You knew you were meant for a life that other people wouldn't understand or other people wouldn't go after. But you didn't let that hold you back. People are perceiving you as someone who is strong, who is courageous, who is focused. Who doesn't mind turning their back 
on things that doesn't serve them. As long as you know that it's benefiting you. What, what do you need at that time? I feel like you've really healed your inner child to the point where you have become your own mother or father. And I don't mean that in a creepy way. And some of you might be like, what the hell is this bitch talking about? What I mean by that is, you know, when you have childhood wounds and if you have a childhood that's been very traumatic or maybe maybe it wasn't even traumatic. Maybe your parents just didn't know how to love you the way you needed to be loved. You know, not everybody grows up in a home where it's it's pure chaos and hell. Some of you grow up in homes where it's just like, I don't feel like they understand me. I don't feel like they see me. I feel like they want me to be someone else. You've always had that courage to not let that hold you back. Finding the beauty in your self-love and knowing that the only person you need, the person that you come in this world with and the person you go out of this world with is the same person. It's yourself. And there's not one person on this earth that's going to be with you from the time you come in to the time you go out. For most of us. For most of us. Seeing that you could have done some sort of self-reflection and made some changes that could have been hard for you. There is an energy here of you moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. Letting go of toxicities. Letting go of mindsets, people, places, and things that weren't serving you. That weren't doing you justice. How are you being perceived right now? There's a lot of people spying and talking about you. Something to do with you going out, having fun. Yeah, you're really stable. You're grounded. You're abundant. There could be something here where people could be talking about some sort of little uh, guilty pleasure you have. This could be another person. This could be someone who has a tendency to emotionally detach and try to remain in control. But there could be some sort of tie or some sort of pull between you two. There could be people talking about that. But there is something here where people are perceiving you as someone who's very practical, grounded. You're wanting to have fun in your relationships and your connections. You're wanting to be honest. You're wanting to be truthful. But there's also something here where people could be spying. People that you didn't necessarily, there could be people here that's spying on your victory and success. People here who you're not on good terms with. This could be people who were friends, family members, lovers, whatever it is, where you're not on good terms with these people. We got drama, we got chaos, we got beef. And you've turned your back on a lot of these people. Again, having the courage to manifest a future and saying, you know, it's okay if you're not in it, that's fine. Being perceived as someone who's moved out of rough waters into calmer waters, you've moved forward, you've dropped some sort of burden, some sort of burden where you could have been giving to some someone equally. How are you being perceived? Someone who's got a lot of options when it comes to love. A lot of people are viewing you as someone who's very independent, confident, abundant, stable so people are seeing you as a powerhouse but it's like they're also wanting to talk about struggles that you've had people you've been tied up on people that have burdened you people that didn't want to give to you why is that i think i know why something to do with you walking away things balancing out getting some sort of communication or learning something about your stability finding that you chose yourself these people are getting a message of truth that things are turning in your favor so here's the thing. There's an ending or something that happened here, an ending that hurt you. This could have been a job, family, friends. This could have been anything that you left behind. These people, I don't feel like, really understood that things were going to turn in your favor. You always had faith. You always knew deep down the universe wasn't going to fail you. These people are getting truth and clarity that things have turned in your favor so well that it's actually going to hurt their feelings. Yeah, because you've always been caring, giving, compassionate. You've treated others the way you wanted to be treated. There's been a lot of healing, and it could have been four years. These could be people that you knew four years ago. This could be a group of four. Viewing you as someone that's got things going in their favor, though. You seem really happy. So, people are viewing you as someone who's emotionally mature, available, and happy. You don't need anything. You're not missing anything. You took the time to change your perspective and say, okay, I can't get mad at you guys for not changing. I'm going to change me and take myself out of this environment, take myself out of this situation. If you won't change, shame on you. Shame on me if I don't get myself out of here. I'm out. And that brought significant growth. You started focusing on yourself and you started harnessing that power into yourself. The power that you would take to, to try to get someone to love you, to try to get someone to be your friend and understand you, to try to get someone to have a conversation and to listen to you, you took all that power back. 
Somebody could be burdened by some sort of conversation. Um, somebody's being, so somebody could be burdened about some sort of conversation that you had with them. Something to do with your money, your investment, something you've got going on. Again, I don't feel like this person thought things were going to turn in your favor that well. Yeah, it could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be. Planning for their future, wanting a new beginning, still very attracted to you and wanting you. You have a boundary up or a wall up, feeling burdened because that could have been a wish or somebody you wanted. This person's perceiving you as someone who's really, 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 really happy. Also, there's a lot of suitors here. You've got a lot of people who are emotionally wanting you. You got one person that you had an agonizing ending with where you you thought you could have had a happy family, happy home with this person. This could be the same person. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't have to be. That person's planning towards their future and they're wanting a new beginning. But here's the thing. You've placed a boundary. You've placed a boundary and it's like, I used to be hopeful for this. I've wished for this, but I'm not going to sit here and wish upon a shooting star and waste my wish because huh, waiting on you is like waiting on rain useless and disappointing like i'm not even gonna waste my time you've got a lot of people who are hooked on you who feel like they can have a happy family happy home with you and this is one of them one of them that you had an ending with and that person actually is in love with you if we're going to be honest but you had to make a head over heart decision to bring change and transformation and they're seeing you. They're seeing success. They're seeing victory. They're seeing how them not investing with you did not work out for them the way that they thought. They want to come back around. They're having anxiety about that. They're wanting to work on you. Work on you. Wanting to work on you. Wanting to work on this. They're wanting to take a leap. They could also be distracting themselves, trying to manifest this. Holding on, also holding back. They're at a point where they're going back and forth. Why are they perceiving you, though? They perceive you as someone who's used their intuition. There was a blockage here, and you used your intuition to get yourself unstuck, and now they're stuck. You took yourself out of conflict and drama and said, okay, any choice, any man of mine better be proud of me. Exactly. Any choice you don't make is your loss. And if you're going to be a man or a woman of mine, you better step up and you better love me. Having a lot of anxiety about that because now they want a new beginning. They're perceiving you in such an amazing light that they can't. Yeah, they're literally in love with you. They can't believe. What did I just say? They're literally in love with you. They can't believe that they didn't see the kind of person that you are. They, they can't believe it. Why did they not see it? Because they were bored and discontent. They were too busy crying over spilled milk. They were too busy at a point where they were trying to move out of rough waters into calmer waters. That they didn't see you. They didn't see you. Okay, what do we got? How are you being perceived? Someone who's learning. Someone who... Maybe taking a step back. There's a lot of in and out energy you got going on. You could be all over the place right now. Traveling, doing things a lot. This is an energy of, I'm taking a lot of action. I decided I want to go travel out of state this weekend. I'm going to do it. I decided I want to go buy a new treadmill. I'm going to do it. I decided I want to go get me new pots and pans. I'm going to do it. That's the kind of energy here. People are perceiving you as someone who's just really living their best life at this point. Knowing it's your time to shine. There could be a Virgo that's self-reflecting on you, feeling a little sad and disappointed that there's a lot going on that they don't know about, worried that you could be investing in someone else. There's a lot of people that want to come back for some sort of reunion with you. But a lot of them could have definitely left you when you needed people the most. And now that you have transformed and you got that courage and you got that power and there's a sense of growth here, they can definitely feel a little intimidated. You know, how can I come in and say I want to be a part of your life when I didn't even have the staying power to be with you to your through your toughest times, through your growth period? You know, you had to gain those tools and that wisdom to do all of this by yourself. Yeah. How are you being perceived? Somebody could think you're in bad health. Okay, this is interesting. All of this negative energy is coming up now. You could get some sort of message. Or you could find out that somebody's been talking about you. Somebody could be saying that you're a liar, you're a cheater, you're a thief. 
Um, I don't like this person. I feel like this person's talking about you behind your back. I feel like they're spreading lies. This could be somebody that's not in the best health. This person could be saying that you have a tendency to take from others and not want to give back. This person could say that you're false, that you wear a mask, that you're not who you seem to be. It's someone in your community, someone that you could have worked with. You could have went to the gym with this person. You could have met this person at the damn grocery store. Someone that you once chose. There's something here where this person's feeling poor. They could be also going through a lot of changes right now, feeling imprisoned, really thinking about you, feeling concerned about what you have going on. It's interesting because there's something here where this person could be trying to make you seem like you're a really bad person, but they're projecting. They have some sort of change that's going on, and they don't want to deal with their reality and the things that's happening in their life. So they're talking about you in a community setting. They can also be talking about, for some of you, that someone stole from you in a time of your life where you were already going through enough. Someone stole from you. Somebody does feel like you're privileged. Whoever that is is feeling a sense of despair concerned about their own job and their journey you know it's interesting because i did a who's talking about you and what are they saying and i'm getting that same energy in this one for this there's someone talking about you saying that you're privileged but that person is in a really bad place in their life feeling really sad feeling like they're in despair needing to go on a path and feeling like whatever path they choose isn't going to be fulfilling feeling like they want your life or want to live what you're living but also feeling like you didn't work to get where you're at why do I feel like this is someone who doesn't know you? Because that's what I'm getting. I feel like whoever that is doesn't actually know you. Who is this? Yeah, this is somebody you have a boundary up towards. You're not. Somebody here is talking about you. Some sort of change and transformation. So you're being perceived or someone's trying to get you to be perceived as someone who's not necessarily trustworthy. Someone that you should have your wall up towards. What's going to happen with that? It's going to make someone sad and disappointed. Something's going to come out. Use your intuition. You already know that this person's talking shit. Yeah, all good things come out in time. <laughs> so what's going to happen? That person's going to sit here and spread lies and talk about you like the little venomous, poisonous snake that they are. And then one day they're going to get their head chopped off. Here in the future, someone's going to be like, wait a minute. What you said is not necessarily true. The person pointing the finger is usually the issue. The person pointing and going, poor, poor me. Pisces stole from me. Pisces doesn't treat me the way I want to be treated. Pisces did A, B, C, and D. We should really talk about how Pisces is just a horrible person right now. The person doing that, it says more about them than it does about you. And I feel like it's going to come out in time. I feel like you've been using your intuition to know that this person is trying to get others in your community or friend group or something like that to perceive you in a negative way. And it might work. And that's fine with that three of swords. It can make you disappointed. But here's the thing. If someone can come up to someone that you classify as a friend, a family member, or a lover, and their lies and their illusion and the things that come out of their mouth can change what they think of you and how they feel for you, they were never true to begin with. So let them go. If if I can come up to your friend and tell them, oh, she's a horrible person. You should get away from her. Or, oh, he, he a hoe. You should stay away from him then you don't need to be with that person. If they don't truly know you down to your core and know that that's not how you are and know when a lie is a lie, you don't need to be with that person. You don't need to be around them. They're not your true support system. And they were so easily set astray, it was always going to be more of a headache to keep them in your path. Let them go. Let them go. All right, we're actually going to leave that here. That was very interesting. Have a blessed day, guys.